Alright guys, today I have a uh, full review here for you of the Tegra Note 7 and uh, we're going to go through it. It is a uh, very, very cool tablet, um, especially if you like uh, doing gaming and video, audio, things like that. It does have some insane cool features. So this is going to be like the full review on it, uh, mainly show you software um, and some feature key features of this device which are extremely very cool. So we're going to start with it. First of all, you got just your standard... Uh, you know, screens, nothing uh, too exciting there, your dock bar there. You can also rotate it around and see if we can get it to rotate for us. There we go. Rotate and you know, you have that standard layout. Um, you do have a camera right here on top and there's also a camera on the bottom and you do have your speakers on the front which is super awesome for audio. Um, very nice. It's Everybody has it on the back normally on most devices. These guys have it on the front. So it's a really good feature for this device. But really the device is really meant to be sideways because it is for like gaming and stuff like that. This is more or less the orientation that this device is really meant to be in from what I've seen. Um, it does function obviously in both but this is really the key way of doing it with your speakers and all that kind of good stuff. You've seen the home screens. We'll go ahead. You got, you got your dock over here. We're going to go ahead and go into your app drawer we'll go back to the applications these are all the applications that comes on it um, the key things I guess I would point out in here that are really kind of unique I mean it does have a camera the cameras are right I mean you, you don't get this device for the camera honestly um, you know it does have front-facing does have back you can use it for pictures but the cameras not like you know top you know awesome it, it, it takes good pictures but this device really isn't for that so I'm not even gonna get into it really but you do have a couple games that it does come with and this one's one of them Eden to green, that's in there, pre-installed, the rest of this stuff looks pretty uh, standard when it comes to Android, and then you have this um, NVIDIA Direct Stylus, and it's just a launcher, so what it does is it just pops open this, and any of your applications you put in here um, that are stylus type applications, you can launch easier, easier. so that's all that, that really does, that application anyway. Um, again, the rest of that looks all pretty standard. And then we get over here at Quadrant. I did add, because I did do some Quadrant testing on this thing to see how it operates. And that is uh, interesting, and we will get back to that. You will see why I did that. Um, settings, Tegra Draw. So, Tegra Draw, Tegra Zone, and Write, and then Zen Ball. So, Zen Ball is Pinball. Also, Game comes installed. And then these other couple applications right here. So let me go into Tegra Zone really quick and show you what this is about. Tegra Zone is games that are made to run on Tegra devices. So Tegra, this is a Tegra 4 processor in this device, which runs a quad core 1.8 gigahertz processor. Um, has a NVIDIA GPU graphics processor with 72 cores. That just seems ridiculous, but that's what it's got. It is for gaming. So these are all games that uh, are designed to run and perform on this device and on any Tegra device, NVIDIA Tegra device. And you can go through here. It's, it's almost like their unique app store, but it just links you back to your Google Play um, store and you can buy them. But it just puts them all in one place so you know what games are optimized for Tegra. I, I absolutely love that is in here and it just makes it a nice interface to find those games. Um, so besides that, like I said, we'll go back in here and I'm going to go through this write and this draw application and show you the uniqueness of them and really the uniqueness of the stylus more than even the application and I'll, I'll try to explain that to you. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the stylus and I kind of went over the stylus a little bit in my unboxing video. I'm gonna kinda of do that again really quick right here and show you why this stylus is really, really pretty cool. Okay, so I think you can see this now. Okay, do you see that tip? The tip is very unique um, on this stylus and, and it does some cool things. So first of all, you got the point which which will do, you know, it'll write very precisely with that tip. Or you can write with that whole flat surface or even the edge. So what happens when you're doing things in paint or you're doing things on the right program is it's kind of like having a paintbrush because you can change the thickness of your stroke just by kind of twisting your thumb 
and I, and I will show it to you. And then the other thing that's really cool is this back one is quite massive. So you have basically two different paintbrushes on the same stylus if you're looking at it like that um, when you're using this paint application. So it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty cool really. Um, and the same thing, you can use the tip right there or you can you know use that whole flat part. So let me just show you that on this device, it is pretty cool. Alright, so now that I've got the stylus out here, um, two things I want to point out when the stylus launches are these two things right here on the bottom. They get added to your uh, dock down there for your navigation buttons and I'll explain what they do. So this one right it does is you can click on this and anywhere no matter what screen you're on on the internet, on the device, on an app, it doesn't matter where it is. When you click on this you could now do things on the screen. So for example, you want to draw something on the screen and then, oh, you know what, I would really like to um, capture that off the screen. So then you can just take something like this and do that. And then you can hit save. And it just saved that little square to my gallery and I have a picture of that square. Which is just, it, it, it's, it's really sweet that um, you could just basically launch it from anywhere uh, which I really really like. So here you go. There's that that little square I just did. I get it to go. There it goes. Just drew around it, and there it is. So you can see how that functions. It's very cool. I mean, I could even take it right here again and just draw in here, and it would take a picture of this thing too. So there is some very very neat things you can do with this device and the stylus right here with that function right there. Um, besides that, you have this function over here, which is it's a little hand with a lock, a lock on it. And what is unique about the hand with the lock that I, that I really like uh, is when you're using a stylus, you always have to hover over your device, okay? Because if your finger touches it, you're going to, you know, you're going to move things around and it's going to like jack the thing up. It's not going to work right. Something's going to get touched. You're going to open an app, whatever it is. So the genius that these guys have come up with, with I, it is really genius, it's, it's really good idea, is this little hand thing. So once you have this little hand thing touched, like that, now the only thing that can control your screen is this stylus. Okay, so here I'll show you. My knuckle, my, my, my finger, here. It does work with your nail and your finger, which is interesting, but just your finger now does not control it anymore. But my nail and my finger will. So that's a little interesting, um, or the stylus will. But what's unique about that and why it's nice is if you go to like right, I'll show you this. We'll just do a um, uh, new document and break it around. All right, we'll leave it sideways so I can write. So when you when you have this on and you're writing, now you can actually set your hand on the device and actually write something. And your your hand is not actually touching. The dev uh, or or activating anything on the device while you're resting your hand on it, which is what you would naturally do with like a pad of paper or something. So that is the genius of that setting. Um, you can actually leave your hand on the device and use your stylus. Uh, uh, genius, absolutely genius. Let me just repeat that. Right there, that's genius. So that is the right program. It's pretty basic. You can see there wasn't too much on it, um, but if you want to take a quick note, it is very nice for it. Um, and depending how good your writing is, mine pretty much sucks. But anyway, um, so then we're going to go into draw, and I'm going to demonstrate for you guys these stylus ends and show you why this is a, a really neat feature on on, uh, on this stylus. So let me just go ahead. You do have some thickness here. Over here you can adjust and some things you can adjust here. But I'm just going to give you an example of how this works. So right here you can see I'm just drawing. And you can see if I rotate this thing around, it's a little thicker. Or I, or I can even go thin too thick as I'm going and then back to thin. So you can see some, some stuff right there. Then if you flip it over, again you got this thin line. But then you can go like this and you can roll it around into something thinner. And then and you can see so I'm, I'm totally adjusting the size of my brush. Even mid stroke. Which is just uh, quite quite cool that it's even functional like that and that's the genius of this thing um, and if you really knew how to paint and do that kind of stuff this would be really nice for that and then again right here same thing if you need to put your hand down because you have that little hand lock on it 
you can put your hand on the device, it's not going to push nothing. Um, and then this draw feature has some cool stuff. You can just erase the whole thing. You can do undo for just undoing one, one uh, like your last draw thing. Right there, it undoes one. You can go to gallery and look at some things. There's some other features over here for some stuff right there. And then one of the other cool things is you could do this, which is like, um, it's like shading. So you have this line. And if you go down, you're like in a different shade. It's a little lighter. If you go down, it's a little lighter. Again, you can see it. And then back to that. So there, there are some cool features on the side over here. You can get really fine point too if you really want to get a fine line. And it's like super fine. Hard to even see it actually if you wanted to do that. So um, if you really want to get some fine drawing stuff in there. Uh, very, very, very cool. Absolutely like this drawing app. I love the stylus. I think this, some of the stylus uh, ingenuity is pretty genius. The other thing that's really nice about the stylus is that it is more like a pen. It's very big. So you can hold it like a normal pen when you're writing. So that is a huge, huge feature, in my opinion, that makes this thing really nice. Besides that, the other thing I really wanted to show you guys was some stuff into settings. So we're going to jump into settings. And one thing I want to point out right here is this right here. It says, save battery. So we're going to click on this. And this, to me, is genius to put this in the device. I love it. This is a lot of times what you do when you hack a device. You do some of this stuff. But this is like just built in. So this is genius. So let me just show it to you. So if you're in battery saving mode, you can see right here you have two cores enabled of your four cores. Your frequency is limited to 1.8 gigahertz. And your frame rate for gaming is 30 frames per second. Then you can go to balanced. And you have four cores enabled. Your frequency is unlimited. and Or not limited, I should say. And you're at 60 frames per second. Then you can go to max speed, and you're, you have all your cores enabled, and you're not limiting your frame rates or your frequency to anything. It's just doing as fast as this thing can run. It's going to run it, and that is extremely awesome. I love that this is in here. And if you're in the middle of a game, you can always just pull down this really quick, shoot in here, it'll open it up, go to max or something, go hit back, it'll go right back to the game, and you'll be running that processor at max speed. That's genius, right there, again. NVIDIA, Tegra, that is genius. All right, so let's go ahead and finish showing you settings in here. Um, again, you have this uh, direct stylus, and it gives you some options on what's going to happen when your stylus is removed, which are right here. I have selected none. It'll open that stylus launcher. It'll launch an app if you want. It'll launch like that draw app or whatever. I have none. I just like to pick what I'm doing once I pull my stylus out. And then um, show cursor, there's some different things here you can adjust. Um, pen to touch delay, some things right there that you have under there. It does have your HDMI stuff right here. And some color correction things you can do once you have HDMI connected if you want to do that. There again is your power save. Um, so max processor performance. So here you go, that's that same screen. End saver. Not sure what that does. Save energy and extend life and reduce app activity. Ooh, that's cool. So if an app's like just running a lot and doing a lot of things, has a lot of activities, like syncing and stuff like that, you could turn this on and it'll just like kind of shut those apps down when you're not using them. That's, ooh, that's again, man, another cool feature. Not seen that on any other tablet. So, and then you got Tegra Prism Dynamic Backlighting on or off. I don't know exactly how that functions, but I will definitely be playing with it. Um, and yeah, pretty much the rest of this is here. Nothing else. Those, those are all pretty standard uh, options. You do have this thing that says controller, um, and it says use right stick as virtual mouse, which I think is, I think they're talking about this, honestly. And then pointer speed, you can, you can get in here and adjust some pointer speed stuff if you want to um, on your device. There you go. That's pretty much everything on this. Oh, yeah. I want to show you these uh, quadrant scores really quick. Let me do that. All right. There we go. All right. So this is a device running a quadrant. So I'm getting about 10,300 on battery saver. That's the quadrant on this device, okay? Um, and basically, it's just a ranking of your processor, your graphics, your memory, all that kind of stuff. Now, that is at battery saving mode. At performance you will pick up another 4,000 in your score. I went from I went to 14,000 
756. So that gives you an idea of what happens when you change those performance speeds right here. I'm under performance right now even. Right here, go back to balance. I didn't do a balance, but I did power save and I did this. So this one's probably like, you know, 1,200, 12,000 or something like that, be my guess. Um, so I just want to show you that. That's pretty cool. Get a good feel of how that performance boost works and functions on your device. Um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. That's, that is the device when it comes down to it. This thing is absolutely amazing i do like it a lot if you're a gamer you're probably going to love this thing it's just designed for gaming and performance there you go that is going to be my uh full review of the software and the features on this tegra note 7 hope you guys like it and as always root junkie out